Hey there, let's learn how to customize a numbered list like this in Squarespace. Kind of simple, uh, but there's a number of different things we can do to it. So let's just walk through it. So very quickly down below in the, on this, if you're on my tutorial page, there should be some code like this. Uh, if you just want to get up and going, you can just copy that code, paste it in, and you'll get these nice little colored uh, circle little numbered list items and you can change around you know the background color here the text color there some font properties if you want to add a border you can do that uh, play around with the positioning over here this is just quickly if you want to just take this code get up and running go for it uh, and be on your merry way and you can change the content right here in this content stuff um, and that would just that what we had there was just adding this little dot after the one so we'll talk up all about that up next but if you just want this want to go go on move on go for it um but let's how did we get here how did how does this code work how do we play around and maybe you don't want those circles maybe you want some text in here or something how do we do that well that's what we're about to go over so the first thing i do whenever i'm looking at wanting to customize something like that uh, let's look in the HTML. Let's jump into right click and inspect. And we're going to jump into the web inspector. So, what is this element? What is What are these one, two, three, four? What are those things? Well, let's target it and see if we can figure it out. Well, it looks like it's a before pseudo element that is within our paragraph, which is within our list item, which is within our ordered list. So, in HTML, this is how we create these numbered lists right here. It's not put in, we don't add in one, two, three, four. We define an ordered list, OL, right here in our HTML. And then we have list items within it. And then our browser adds in these numbers, one, two, three, four. That's sort of the default of how this would work. However, Squarespace is overriding that. Uh, usually there's like a, a marker pseudo element somewhere in here. Uh, but Squarespace has removed that because it wants to do things a little bit differently. So it has added in this before pseudo element. So we're targeting the first list item, the first child within our list item and adding this content right here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to copy this target and let's just throw it in here. Uh, and I'm going to copy this content and throw it in here too. And let's play around with this. Let's just mess around and see what is changing. So we have two quotes, so we can add something before our text here. Maybe I can say like step, right? And now we have step one, step two, step three, step four. So this is going to be repeated on every single item. And then our counter, this is what we're going to count through on our list items right here in the HTML. So that's going to be one, two, three, four. So that's how we have step one, step two, step three, step four. So we could, and then we have a dot afterwards. We could do like the, the ending parentheses or something. That would be fun. But we have this weird space. How would we fix some of that spacing? So I believe, let's see where that is coming from. We have this before element. Uh, we have a min width of 40 pixels, but minimum width could be larger, could be larger, right? Uh, and then I th the way Squarespace does this is it adds in this element that has a minimum width, and then we move it back to the left 40 pixels, which should be the same amount of spacing of our ordered list, this green padding right here. That green padding you can see is uh, our padding inline start for our, our ordered list element. And so that is the offset. So that's kind of what, it's just sort of this very, a little bit confusing roundabout way that Squarespace is adding in the space here. So if we wanted to change the spacing, we'd also need to target our ordered list item. And we want to change our padding inline start, right? Let's put that in. Maybe bump this up to 60 pixels, right? So now the whole thing is moved in 60 pixels. And we want to offset using our margin left of our first of our bullet point here. We want to offset the same amount in the opposite direction. Margin left, negative 60 pixels. And that gives it looks like there's a little, we're not, we're not doing it perfectly there. So maybe we want to go to like 65 and 65. Cool. Okay. So that's that's kind of what we want. And what we would also want now, you see we've offset it over here. So what's the problem? Well, let's give this the same minimum width. The minimum width of our of our step, let's make it the same number there. Let's say 65 pixels. 
and now we've got this perfect sort of alignment there. So this is how you can play around with the spacing. This is our, our content, whatever content we want in there. And this is how we're going to play around with spacing. So at, throw in some text, do whatever you want in there. That could, this could be what you want. Uh, but how do, how do we get that little circle, that circle guy that we had right at the beginning there? Well, let's, uh, let's remove our step. We don't want this. We kind of just want that number, right? So I'm going to remove all of this. We just want it to go one, two, three, four. Our, our numbers are pushed all the way to the right. Uh, and it looks like it's because the text align is on the right. So if you want to, you could say text align uh, left, uh, left. That would move it all the way over to the left there. But that's probably more spacing than we want. But let's play around with this. Um, let's say background maroon. Let's just start there because that'll be simple enough for us. Oop, okay, so let's change the color to white so we can see that a little bit easier. Let's give it a border radius of 50% because we want to get that circle, but we're going to get this weird oval here. So we need our height and our width to be the same. And so instead of a min width, why don't we, we need to override this. We'll probably need to get rid of that. And say, let's just say height is 20 pixels, right? 20 pixels. My two is not working. And then width is also 20 pixels. But when we have conflicting values like this, especially with our min width right here, min width is 65 but our width is 20. So what is CSS gonna choose? It's always gonna choose the min width. That's gonna override it. Uh, so I'm just gonna change min width back to 20 uh, and we'll just play around with that. All right, we have a little bit of some offset issue here. It's sort of looking like it's in the bottom right or bottom left. Uh, so one way to center up text within an element is we can say display grid right on the element and then place items in the center and that's just going to move it right into the center Ooh, but grid now so this is interesting whenever we do uh, display grid the default is a block level default so it's going to be a hundred percent of the width and so it's going to sort of stack these on top of each other and that's really not what i want so i could say inline grid right we could do that that'd move it back to where we want uh, inline is is the opposite of block. Think of like a, an anchor, like a a, lack, uh, a link, a text link. That you want that to be inline. Whenever you add a link, you don't want it to take the full width of something. So that's the difference between inline and block. Uh, so that we got that inline grid. We've centered it up. We might need to make the font size a little bit smaller. Let's say uh, 0.9 rem. Uh, and that kind of centers us up. And another thing, I'm not sure if this is going to work here. I'm just going to say line height zero. There we go. Uh, and that sort of really evens everything up for us right there. Um, but you can see now we have our min width here. So we need to change our margin left back down to negative 20 pixels. Move that back to where we want. And then we can do our padding inline start of 20. We might even want to push that out a little bit more. Uh, there we go. And what if I said a margin, margin right of 20, give ourselves. So I want a little bit of space after this right here, right? So what if we said text align center with that? See, that's not sort of messing with any of it. Ooh, let's move around our, let's take off our margin, right? So this text align center, we're, we're sort of struggling right now because we've defined the width. Uh, we've defined the width and height. However, it's not centering up. We can't get any space. So the way that I move, I, I fix this, is I pull out this numbered item from our, our ordered list. I just sort of remove any spacing that it has by giving it a position absolute. And that kind of fixes our issue. And then we can position it exactly where we want. Because right now, if I move it around left and right, it's going to, all of the other text in here is going to adjust depending on the position of our numbered items. I don't want this other text to adjust based on this item. So we can do that by just saying position, position, absolute. And this kind of pulls out our text from be from uh, interacting with any of the other content on our page. And then we can use these properties like left zero and we can move it around. We don't really want it all the way left to the zero uh, because we have this margin left. So it is right on the left edge here, 
but then, which is zero, as you can see with our, uh, I'll put my cursor here so you can see. So right on the left side of that green box is uh, left zero, but then we're also pushing it another 20 pixels to the left using the margin. So that's why that is popping out over there. Um, and then left zero, it's going, it looks like it's going even further over there. Where is that? That was like the opposite direction. Um, where are we going here? What are you, what are you doing? What you doing over there? Um, not sure why it's uh, pushing, pushing a little further out. Oh, it might be because okay. So let's, we're not telling it what it needs to position itself around relative. Relative. There we go. So now it's positioning itself relative to the list item that it is in. Now we're pos positioned absolutely relative to our list item. Uh, so this is great. Now that we know that our min width right here, our padding right here is 40 pixels in there. The width of our item is 20 pixels. So we have an extra 20 pixels there. If we wanted to center it up, we could just say left 10 pixels. So 10 pixels, 20, 10. That's our 40 right there. Uh, and you also might want to just bump it down a little bit. I might say top six pixels just to kind of even it up with this first line of text. Why don't we say top four pixels? There we go. So just play around with those however you want. Uh, so there we go. This is how you can play around, customize some list items, uh, some numbered items, some ordered list items within Squarespace. Uh, code for all of this is on uh, my website down below. Uh, if you're on YouTube, you can link over there. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. I have a bunch more tutorials like this in my Code Curious library if you're curious about code. Uh, so hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions and have a great day.